So hey there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Renee. This is uh, <laughs> Paulus who's sneezing. And you can see Maxie behind me on the couch taking a big, big Judy. Are you done? Oh my goodness. But we wanna break some news to you today. Did you all know that I am a grandma? And the fun part is, you know, I'm a dog mom and I am a grandma to four grand kitties. Not, not humans, not dogs four grandkitties. And so I bet you are wondering, Renee, if you're a dog lover, how in the world did your two daughters end up with cats instead of dogs? In today's video, I'm going to explain exactly that. And you're going to get to meet all four of my grandkitties. How did my two daughters, Brecken and Kendall, both have two cats and not dogs? I'm gonna share their stories. You're gonna to get to meet Milo and Sasha, which are Kendall's kitty cats, and Mochi and Mia, which are Brecken's kitty cats. So how in the world am I a grandma to four grand kitties when I've always had dogs my entire life? Well, I'm gonna tell you something about myself that I don't think I've ever told you before. I actually had a cat growing up. I had a kitty cat, her name was Kitty. <laughs> We named her Kitty, right? She was not a personable cat. She didn't lay in my lap. We lived out in the country, so my mom would open the door. Kitty would go outside. She would come back with mice and birds, and she would come inside at night. She would lay in the hallway, and when we would walk by, she would claw and try to scratch at our feet. She wasn't the kind of kitty that you played with or that you laid on the couch with or snuggled with or slept with. She was just Kitty, who was in our house. Brecken is actually home for the summer right now. She's uh, upstairs with her kitty cats. The girls' domain, they have the entire upstairs to our house for the summer. And Brecken is getting ready to go back to college with Mochi and Mia. And so Brecken has been gathering all the things that she needs for her new apartment. And I have something special for them. I gotta be honest, before I show you what I, what I got them, because I had a cat that went outside and it didn't play with me, I really didn't understand until I had all of these grand kitties that cats need things. They need toys. They want you to play with them. They need bowls and cat houses and scratchers and catnip and all these things. Brecken has been saying that she wanted to get Mochi and Mia a cat water fountain. Well, I thought cats drank milk. To be honest, that's how little I knew about kitty cats. But in reality, cats drink a lot of water. She was looking around on Amazon and showing me some of her options, and we settled on this one. It is a smart cat water fountain from you, a pet. So I'm gonna take this upstairs. Mochi and Mia are gonna get to open their brand new kitty cat water fountain, and we're gonna we're gonna see how much they love it. And then after we go talk to Mochi and Mia, we're gonna head to Milwaukee, which is where Kendall lives with Milo and Sasha. I was just there visiting them. I got some great footage for you all of Milo and Sasha and Kendall telling the stories of how she adopted and found each of them. So I'm gonna share that with you after we go give Mochi and Mia their smart cat fountain. This is Mia's favorite toy. What is it, Mia? What's on the end of the toy? Oh, it comes with four different attachments. This is a little like butterfly thing and Mia and Mochi both go bonkers over this toy. Watch this thing, y'all. It goes at like six feet. It is on a wand. It's like a fishing pole. It's crazy. This smart cat water fountain from you, a pet is fantastic. And the reason I wanted it for Brecken is because you can put this water fountain anywhere. It's cordless. See, there's nothing plugged in. The you, a pet water fountain has two activation modes. The first one uses this motion sensor right here. So when one of the cats will walk up, it'll turn on automatically. It knows they're there, so it starts the water. Or there's a timer mode that every 15 minutes, it will kick on and automatically provide water to the cats. So the UA Pet has a water tank that will hold 67 ounces of water and it will provide fresh filtered drinking water to the cats for 10 days. 
I love the fact that there are absolutely no cords. Brecken can charge this up, set it wherever she wants, move it around without having to worry about an electrical plug in that area. And the great thing is, once you fully charge the battery, it will last for up to 120 days, which is great. And this is the very reason we wanted the Ua Pet water fountain. Cats love to play with cords, and we didn't want any kind of electrical anything near water where the cats could come up and play with the cords. This is so perfect that it's cordless. Brecken can set it wherever she wants to. She can see whether it's charged or needs to be charged. And the filtration system inside right here contains antibacterial material that prevents the buildup of dirt to make sure the cats always have safe and clean drinking water. So this houses the electrical system and it sits outside of the tank. You drop in that little tube into the water, which makes the water flow and go so there's no chance that anybody is gonna get hurt. Get a drink, Mia. Oh, oh, that mochi. was sweet mochi. <laughs> so thank you so much to you, a pet, for sending us the cat water fountain and sponsoring this portion of today's video. I love the fact that the cats are always going to have clean water. It's flowing water. It excites them. They're interested in drinking the water. I love the fact that there are no cords. It's filtered and the motor is on the outside. It's just a great, smart cat water fountain. You cannot beat it. So I'm upstairs with the bee girl and she's going to give you all a short quick how she got Mia and Mochi. Right, Mia? So this is my firstborn. This is Mochi. Say hi, Mochi. She is um, like about eight months now. So I knew that I'd been wanting a cat for a little while. So my boyfriend decided for Christmas he was going to get me one. So, but I did like the looking for it. It was on Pet Finder for like a month until I found her. I ended up adopting her from a shelter in Cape Girado, Missouri. Well, I'm not completely sure what breed Mochi is, but we know she is a long haired cat. I think she definitely wants down right now. <laughs> I think she might be part like ragdoll or something with the blue eyes. and She has the cutest little markings. It looks like she has, she has a black horns. Tail. A black tail. She has little horns she's right there. She's so fluffy. She <laughs> clearly does not like to be held very much, but she's a sweetheart. We love Mochi. And Mochi is always upside down. If you come upstairs, Mochi's always on her back, feet up. She wants her belly rubbed, so I just say she's always upside down because that's the first thing she does when you see her drop and roll. <laughs> All right, Mia, it's your turn. Next is Mia, the baby, the newest addition to the family, my youngest grandkitty. And this is Mia. Um, she's like three months now. So um, I wasn't expecting to get another cat after Mochi. But one day, um, unexpectedly, she crawled up underneath my boyfriend's car. She actually rode under there for probably like six hours before um, we even knew she was under there. So she's a little survivor. But once we got her out from underneath the car, I just couldn't help but to not give her away. So now I have Miss Mia. Um, the vet says that she is part Siamese. Um, she is a flame point. So she has the orange ears and... An orange tail. Orange <laughs> tail. There's a booty. She got an orange tail. Yeah, but she's my little baby and um, the crackhead of the bunch. She's full of energy. Not what she looked and, up and said it. <laughs> but she's, she likes to be held, obviously, more than Mochi, and she's my little lovable one. So Mia is so feisty and so spunky and so full of energy. Brecken's bedroom and, you know, they have the whole run to the upstairs. So the cats will run down the hall and play. And when I'm downstairs, it sounds like thunder. And it's just two cats, two kittens, not even your own kittens playing up here. But they are so rambunctious. They love to play together. They have a great time. And they're just sweet little girls. And I'm going to miss them when they go back to school with the bee girl. Because no. I like to come <laughs> upstairs and get my little Mia kisses and purrs and mochi belly rubs in. There will be links in the description box below this video so that you can get yourself a smart water fountain for your cat. Oh, and also, that toy wand. The cats went crazy over that thing. It was a no-brainer. So when you order your cat water fountain, 
get your cats one of those play wands too. They will thank you. Really, you have to like itch right here. You have the whole whole room and you got to itch right here. Okay, so that was Mia and Mochi. Those are the girls upstairs that are driving these two boys crazy all summer long. And y'all are not going to believe what happened the other day. Brecken was downstairs talking to me in this very room and Maxie and Pollux were laying on the couch and all of a sudden, the dogs jumped up. They were running into the living room, barking their heads off. We're, I'm looking outside thinking there's a delivery guy or somebody's walked around to the back of the house and I just didn't see them because I was sitting right here at my computer desk. Brecken went into the living room to see what the heck were they barking at and Mochi had decided she was gonna come downstairs. I think she saw Brecken sitting in here talking to me, didn't realize the dogs were in this room and just, hey, hey, sir and just ventured right on down the stairs, hit the bottom of the stairs, saw the dogs, and took off. And she went running into the living room and jumped behind Maxie's tent, and that's where Brecken saved her. The dogs didn't hurt her. There was just some barking going on. We had a one scared kitty cat, and it all turned out fine. But now, I'm gonna take you to Milwaukee so that you can meet Milo and Sasha. I was just in Milwaukee a couple weeks ago, visiting Kendall and her boyfriend Tebow, and then these are their kitty cats, my grandkitties, Milo and Sasha. Sasha? <laughs> I thought it was a Oh, nice. Like it was just, you know, about this. Sasha, you're gonna get in yeah. trouble, girl. She's gonna show you her favorite thing. Oh, she's let's see it, show us. Oh, oh, big she, leap. Uh, she trans, and then she goes up there and watches me make dinner. <laughs> well, go on up there, girl. You think about it? Let's see if she does, she does it. That was a big jump. That was. She does it very gracefully though. <gasps> Yesterday, I'm hoping Milo I Milo couldn't figure out how to get down from this side because yeah. the fruit basket's oh right there. And he jumped up on top of that cabinet to here, oh. slid into the books, and then like kind of fell off. <laughs> hey girl. Oh, you're pretty girl. Look at you. This is Sasha. We adopted her about six months ago. Hi. She's super feisty, loves hunting bugs, which is what she's currently doing. Mm hmm And, um, <laughs> you gotta get that. What about it, Sasha? neck hurt looking up like that girl <laughs> this is gonna be interesting you need a piece of paper no how are you gonna oh here here's a piece of cardstock Tebow <laughs> I was trying to have him like fall into what's he doing Sasha if it's a fly or something we'll hold her up to it so oh she so she can get it. it spiders freak me out Ooh, it's a jumper too Oh, Sasha, we got it. There you go. Oh, got it. It's not up there anymore. Uh oh. <laughs> Wanna check it out? No, she's looking. And she has a sassy walk. She does have a sassy walk. When she wants attention, she'll lift her tail and arch her back and come up next to you. Are we talking about you? Yeah. Sassy walks. Sasha went. Can I try to pick you up? Oh. Just for a sec, Just Milo. Just for a sec. <laughs> Ooh, go quick. This is Milo. Tebow and I found him and uh, threw him in the streets. Decided to keep kitty. him. Oh, Milo. I know he's, he's the best boy. He the best boy with the biggest eyes. Oh, boink. He's so sweet. He loves jazz music. Ooh. He loves chasing toys. <laughs> <laughs> Bad. Bad mom throw. <laughs> what in the world, Milo? And he's extremely opinionated about everything. Uh -huh. And he only wants to cuddle with you when you are asleep. Mm -hmm. Unless you're Tebow. <laughs> Doesn't like to be touched, though. <laughs> It's like he has on a, a bandana around his neck. Tuxedo. Tuxedo, yes. He's classy. Very classy <laughs> man. <laughs> Sasha, come here. <laughs> oh my goodness. So many catnip things. All this oh, Sasha cute. interested. Oh. That's so cute. That's adorable. Do you want a little Veggies. pepper? 
Like what? Like, you look at that too. <laughs> what is that? Well, I'll tell you, they are so calm compared to Moti oh, and Mia. Oh, you hear it? Oh, oh. 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 playing on. Oh, good girl. Oh, you're loving it. Good girl. You guys are so cute. She's loving her garret. Hi, Milo. Oh. <laughs> Milo, are you trying to hide your pepper under the couch? Your mama says you hide toys underneath there. Can we see the pepper? There's the pepper. It's a little teeny box too. She's trying to like lay on her back, I think. What are you doing? Well, I'm not going to do a laundry bin. Milo jumped in as I was assembling it. Yeah. So it's like, oh. Sasha says, uh, I got here first. You just keep moving. So it doesn't get any better than that. Four sweet little kitty cat grandbabies. I love them to pieces and I have learned so much. Can you boys simmer it down? <laughs> I have learned so much about kitty cats in the past year. They love to be snuggled. They love their belly rubs. They're gonna give you some little bites, uh, love bites on your finger if they don't wanna be messed with. They're very aloof if they're not in the mood and um, they just kind of have their own personalities. I hope that you enjoyed today's video and finding out that I'm a grandmama to four wonderful, sweet little kitty cats. Poor Milo is outnumbered. He's the only boy to three girl kitties, but that's okay. I don't think he minds. The scales have definitely been tipped in our house because I have two boy dogs. Brecken has two girls upstairs, so I love to call them the girls because I'm always talking about the boys. And then Kendall has one of each. Can you see Pollux's tail here? Really? I mean, really? Every time mom tries to talk, y'all do this. Yeah, I'm talking to you too. Are y'all jealous that the kitty cats are getting attention today and you're not? So we'll see you in another video. And my boys and girls now send lots of ear scratches and belly rubs from them to yours. I'll see you later.